Ryan and Cindy. Hey, Ryan. Becoming a rich partner so we can enjoy the life we deserve. And more. He was into making money. You got a dollar? Yeah. Millions of them. She was into helping people. Dear Cindy, I want to go back to school, but my husband is against it. What should I do? What did you tell her? Why do you need school? You have a husband. Go get your hair done. This woman pours her heart out to you, and you give her beauty tips? But when he's out of a job... You just lost $52 million of our client's money. Kaboom. Your conduct leaves us no alternative but to revoke your broker's license out of a relationship. If God wanted me to marry poor, he would have made me homely. By the way, the rent's due. Cindy left me. I didn't see that coming. My whole life is a mess. We could build you a new one. And out of options. Can you tell me whether she's coming to work or whether I can take her off payroll? He takes over. Payroll? Cindy's life. I'm here to pick up all the letters from the Dear Cindy column. All the letters. You took over Cindy's... You took over. Column? You're sick. My ex and I broke up, but I still can't stop thinking about it. The best way to get over a man is to get under a new one. These sound like these were written by some shallow anti-feminist. Canceled. Fine. She fired Cindy. Me. Us. Cindy's not taking us lying down. And gets in touch with his feminine side. Ow. What would a woman say? And then this Cindy woman writes, The problem isn't finding a boyfriend who is gentle and caring. The problem is, guys like that already have boyfriends. The circulation's up 3%. People are reading it. It's always good with a newspaper. I am so not happy with the direction it seems to be going. Get over it. New York is asking, who is Cindy? Artisan Home Entertainment presents Charlie Sheen in Good Advice with Angie Harmon. Denise Richards, Rosanna Arquette. Guess what Barry's giving me for our anniversary? A new ass! <gasps> Estelle Harris and John Lovitz. I'm not giving my money to a female columnist. I'm not a female. Mm, you could be. In a comedy. I came to apologize. About a man's man. In a woman's world. You have to think of multiple partners as you would a snowstorm. You never really know how long they will last or how many inches you will get. Good advice. That Cindy's got ball. She does now. How can we be so different? Your teacher gave you a, a really hard book this time. What's wrong with your father? Why is he acting like a retard? He is. You're not like other daddies. I'm sorry. Daddy, I'm lucky. Nobody else's daddy ever comes to the park. No one doubts that you love your daughter. These shoes light up. But your intellectual capacity is around that of a seven-year-old. Do we get a balloon with these? Yeah. All of us? <laughs> or just her? Our concern is what happens when Lucy turns eight. I find it is not in the best interest of the child to remain in the home, and I order her detained. Why is Lucy going home with me? It's time that you get your own lawyer. This is one of the best ads I've seen in the other pages. You're my lawyer! All right, I'm your okay. lawyer. Okay, we have a lot to go over, and I have five minutes. Green means go! You're going much faster than everybody else. Is she going to help us? It's always set your dreams high, Lucy. I don't think you realize what you're up against. you got to be firm on this. You have to fight for her. You don't know what it's like when you try and you try and you try and you don't ever get there. I can 
go at least another nine rounds. But you gotta let me in. You think what they think. Sam can't take care of Lucy. It doesn't matter what I think. It matters that we win. It matters to me. Isn't it true that you know you need much more than your daddy can give you? All you need is love. What makes you think you can raise a seven-year-old? Every parent has those moments. A ten-year-old. Moments where the task is so unbelievably challenging. A thirteen-year-old. That you feel retarded. She'll be six years more advanced than you. I wouldn't want any daddy but you. Did you hear that? It's about patience. I worry that I've gotten more out of this than you. And it's about listening. Daddy, I'm here! And it's about love. I am Sam. You're recording. Hi, this is Sam! It, it's an outgoing message, so I think you need to sound a little more outgoing. Escape from dry, heat-damaged hair when you discover heat-activated Thermosilk conditioner. Thermosilk's moisturizers work with your hair dryer to help lock in moisture for soft, silky hair. Thermosilk, turn your hair into silk.